Hello everybody and welcome back to the Stronghold Show where I take you through updates on all Firefly Studios games, some cool community content, a brand new workshop map and one of our favorite content creators on YouTube or Twitch. So stick around for a sneak peek at one of our favorite all-time Stronghold videos as well as my favorite map so far to be uploaded to the Stronghold Warlords Steam Workshop. This is the Stronghold Show, welcome back. Roll the title sequence. Greetings, sire. Your stronghold awaits you. Wood needed, my lord. So firstly, Warlords on the studio update agenda. As we said in our Roadmap 2 video, which detailed all of our upcoming updates over the coming weeks, Kublai Khan is next up, and we're at the uh, the garnish stage. Basically, we're, we're nearly done, is what I'm trying to say. It's coming up very, very soon, and we'll be releasing a gameplay overview trailer produced by yours truly for both the free and paid aspects of that update. So be on the lookout for that by subscribing, liking, notification bell, you know what to do. Other than that, we released version 1.5, which was more of a utility update, I guess, which had a whole bunch of sort of general improvements, bug fixes, optimizations. Again, none of the really sexy stuff, but should make your besieging and castle designing and stronghold more and more smooth as each month passes. Now for Roman's Age of Caesar, and we're about to hit a huge milestone for our cooperative city builder, and that is Open Beta. Starting next month, 7th of September 2021, you'll be able to go to playromans.com and download the public beta and begin your journey as an influential Roman senator in the ancient world of Caesar era Roman Republic. On the eve of the creation of an empire, one which you may play a pivotal role in, virtually from your computer, don't even have to leave the house. In all seriousness, this is a huge milestone for the Romans team and we are super proud of them for reaching it. We'll be supporting the beta over the next few months with regular videos to try and introduce more and more players into the mix, hopefully resulting in a glorious 1.0 release later down the line. But don't hesitate as by the time we release that 1.0, there may already be devious, deceptive, and other negative adjectives beginning with the letter D, senators already established, ready to sabotage any new kids on the block. So in my monthly reminder of regret for including this section in the Stronghold show, because I can never really say anything, um, at least for the moment, because we have some secrecy shrouding some future projects. What I can say, the last couple of weeks, um, we've had a host of programmers, designers, artists, and producers all meeting in that room right up there. That room right above me right here. Actually, it's two floors up, but so, but it's above me, that's what counts. They've been up there having in-person meetings now that COVID is relatively somewhat relaxed in the UK. What have these meetings been about? So all kinds of exciting stuff, actually. So stuff like, you know, new technologies, um, workflows, general history, like art direction, art style, how we're gonna approach art for future projects, all that kind of stuff. Um, basically hashing out the, the, the future, not only of the Stronghold series, but how we are going to approach it in development. Is that enough for you guys? I feel I, like that's that's all I can give you. That is my offering to you for this Stronghold show. So next up, the community spotlight. And this month we have Kodik on YouTube and his video, The Battle of Diplomacy. Featuring our very own Stronghold Legends, which is often, you know, the sad forgotten installment of our Castle Builder series. So I thought, you know, it was worth highlighting this video just for that. So firstly, as a fellow video producer, as another man in the video production trenches, I know how much effort went into making something like this. You know, th this video, I've seen a lot of uh, Stronghold gameplay in my time at Firefly, you know, I've worked with YouTubers and Twitch streamers, but you know, this really, this, this production really went the extra mile. So it's got like bespoke motion graphics, you know, the multicam editing, just like the production of getting four people to record 
all their gameplay and then compiling it into one video. Like that's a lot of effort and Kodak, I appreciate it. So the video itself showcases a usual four-way skirmish, but it's in the presentation, it's in the style, in the format that this piece really shines. But Kodak does a great job of this with, you know, additional uh, sound effects, um, like secret meetings, uh, making sure like you know who's talking to who, like just the overall like experience and the presentation of that experience is really, really good. And like, even if you miss like key plot details and, or oh, <laughs> plot details, you know, I'm talking about like a, like a big blockbuster movie, right? Um, there are some like really impressive cinematic like bookends. Kodak also has some like story time narration with some, you know, uh, audio effects um so you know you really get to know you know who's in the, who's on the battlefield what who's playing for what and you know how this is all going to play out and how it plays out in the in the outro just to help you digest what you've just watched this was an age of diplomacy matters were discussed during meetings the four kingdoms came to an agreement about rules they would never break even during time of war welcome to the first episode of stronghold legends the Battle of Diplomacy. So yeah, special thanks to Kodik for all the effort that went into making that video, as well as the fellow lords he besieged. You know, they all had to record their own gameplay, so their effort into it goes, you know, it's appreciated. It's truly one of the best pieces of Stronghold content I've seen at my long four years at the studio. So next up is our map highlight and we move from the fantastical lands of Stronghold Legends to the Warlords of East Asia. And I'm going to be introducing this map with a particular piece of game capture I got earlier on because I feel like it's better to show and not tell. Dragon World by Fede K93 is an extra large map which can feature up to eight players in skirmish. Add to the mix eight warlords and you've got yourself a multiple hour session of designing creative castles and besieging battlements. It's a symmetrical balanced affair which goes more for style than substance I will say but hey as long as you're having fun then it doesn't really matter. The center of the map boasts the impressive dragon mural and that's surrounded by some kind of like upper ring and it's perfect for you know finding vantage points on enemy sort of movements. You can use it to you know siege the warlords or you can just use it to like establish an, an outpost from which to uh, whittle away at incoming enemy sieges. Then there's also a small descent to an unforgiving but open plain, perfect for all your battles, skirmishes and siege equipment. If you just wanna go, you know, mano a mano, you don't want any height advantage, you just wanna see whose army is bigger than whose. So what are you waiting for? It's time to load up Stronghold Warlords and enter the dragon world. Last thing we have creator of the month and that honor for August goes to our man Zaid. Zade is primarily a YouTube content creator who does all kinds of specialized content, mainly on the strategy genre. Although he does do some welcome branching out every now and then, a special mention to his recent video just released a week ago on CNC Renegade. That game has an absolute, you know, it holds a special place in my heart. Um, yeah, it generally did like alter my life as a kid. You know, I have some friendships today, which I wouldn't have if not for that game. So watching his retrospective on that, you know, it goes over like the, the, the presentation, the multiplayer, all the mods and stuff. Um, it's just, a, it was a really cool experience watching it. Um, he also does sort of like uh, opinion pieces on strategy games, specialized content on strategy games, uh, talks with industry professionals. So like, yeah, his library is like vast and varied. His presentation is clean and concise. And also look at his thumbnails. I mean, they are putting my Stronghold uh, thumbnails to shame. Um, he also did Stronghold Warlords content at multiple stages of development. So not only on release, um, but also, you know, at alpha stage, beta stage, covered the demos, um, even appeared in my Stronghold Warlords documentary, allowed me to use this footage for that. So yeah, 
tons of love for Zaid. And if you want to go check out uh, not only the CNC Renegade video, which I really recommend, uh, but any of his other stuff, sort of the Iron Harvest video he did, um, obviously the Stronghold Wallers review he did, it's pretty good, uh, nice and fair. So yeah, go check his channel out. That's in the description box below. Uh, yeah, Zaid, nice. <laughs> I don't know what that was. Nice, thumbs up, buddy. So that was another installment of the Stronghold Show. As always, I wanna say thank you for watching, liking, and hopefully subscribing. It not only helps me know what sort of content you guys want, the Stronghold community wants in general, but in all honesty, any engagements we get with any of our videos help the studio, help bring Stronghold to new people, and just generally help our future endeavors trying to make castle simulation games. So thank you. Before I go, I wanna give a couple of Discord shout outs to two of our most valued members there. Chris's videos, Greek and Lord Tigger. Lord Tigger actually hosted the Sword and Pistol Tavern, the first ever Stronghold fan site in the US in the days when Stronghold 1 was released. The community had great fun there, but as things go, real life became too busy and Lord Tigger had to close the site. But to remember it, Farfly named the Tavern of the Ice Faction in Stronghold Legends after his sight. So Lord Tigger, if you hear this, may your sword always be sharp, your walls strong, and your granary never empty. And that's about it. We will be back soon with our Kublai Khan gameplay overview trailer, more Romans, Age of Caesar explainers, and of course, our very next Stronghold show, which should be in September. Stay tuned, and I will see you then.